Hi, this is Josh at the Cerberus 10 in Newport, Kentucky. I just want to show you guys some of the games we got going on tonight. You know, it's like there's this weird, bluish like chemical compound that's like oozing out going into the sewer caps, going into the sewer vents on both sides. And it looks like it's been ventilating, it's like it's filling up on both sides as each of these sewers are like going down the street all the way out into the sea. Wait, so are we still in the dungeon? Or are no, we in you the are, uh, you're, you're in a we're, we're, we're in an alleyway. You're in an alleyway right now. You just notice that there's this weird blue like food like filling up these uh, sewer banks. As fog is starting to ventilate into the, into the sewers. As they're kind of like traveling out to the docks in the warehouse. Are you still in? Don't tell. It's into. It's going to. I would try to eat some of the ooze. No, do not eat I'm the ooze. I'm not eating that ooze. Why not? Yeah. It might just be blueberry jam or something. That's not blueberry jam. It's a case of fruit. You don't, have you tried it? That, if it is blueberry jam, then it's sewer blueberry jam. Oh, there's nothing better than sewer blueberry jam. Mmm, <laughs> just like mommy used to make. You believe it's possibly blueberry jam. Become a bear. Become a bear. I'm a bear. You are now a bear. And what do all of the, is it on their turn or on your action? It is on my action. They all have to succeed on a quick save. Okay, um, the bandit is restrained. <laughs> with a bear hug? Is that right? No, with entangle. With entangle? With um, Just the one, because the other one doesn't fall into it. Um, so the one bandit is entangled. This Karen Crawler didn't even acknowledge the fact that you had meat. Um, <laughs> and then this one is entangled. <laughs> Jessica, where does crawlers come from? Um, bodies. From bot? They came like a dead body and then like they came out? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm simply protecting my party. Right over your board. shoulder. Um, I don't understand okay, why you can't complain. Um, Everybody else came up and did it in front of me. Why are you behind me? <laughs> So that makes just seeing what you're about. Oh, by the way, now that this one's like, see you. is telling me friends here, and now I'm feeling like I'm I'm gonna be ambushed or something. I'm not carrying anything of any value. And she kind of kind of backs herself up towards the tree again, and like she's like startled. And she didn't know you were there until he backed away from her. Actually, I'm gonna shoot a warning shot at him. I sh that would not be something you would do. Especially to someone you've been adventuring with. I sheathed I sheath my blade. Um, and kind of like change my demeanor. Grab my mustache. Every woman must trust the handlebar mustache. I, I bow and I say, <laughs> forgive me. First. The beautiful monstrosity that lives in the sewer. He's also, he's also what an amazing friendship. I got seven. Oh, 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 Tray curses. Well, we're looking for. Friendly. We're actually looking for five curses. Yes, we're Tree. Four five. Tree four five. What? Wow. Which is the wisdom of our 
so Anthony, did that elk have blood on its antlers before it came in the dungeon? It has not hit anybody yet, sadly. Oh, so that means it came in here all bloodied up. I okay. I wouldn't mess with that elk if that was if I were you. What are you gonna do to that elk? Well, it's four hit points, so I'm not sure. <laughs> you drank a necromancy poison. Okay, I thought it would taste good. I didn't know it was a necromancy potion. Okay. So it just so happens. That's one bad elk. That actually misses 